Hello, just a few introductory words to this third and exciting Morrowind adventure with our current favorite Argonian, Sings Like Kor. I'm glad you're tagging along and this adventure will be even more exciting than the last. This time we're taking Sings Like Kor deeper into the insular culture, society and geography of Vadenfell. Along the way he has to navigate the gnarly hierarchies of Magis Guild, consider his political identity, memorize the metropolitan geography of Balmora, perform botanical and mycological research, learn the color of Nord people, and understand the powerful houses of Dunma politics. Eventually he ventures outside of the safety of the city walls, at first spending a long time understanding how to properly manage his resources and keeping track of all the arcane items and knowledge he possesses, but nonetheless, things like Kor gets stronger, faster and smarter. So, let's do this. Welcome to another day in Things Like Core's life, and welcome to another playthrough. So, we're still here in this tavern, and a lot transpired over the first two episodes, the previous two episodes. So, we have, we've ended up in Balmora, on the orders of the Empire, and we have contacted and visited Caius Casades, made contact with and visited Caius Casades, who, who is a half-naked middle-aged man, or spy master, according to our journal. So spy master Caius Casades gave me 200 gold to spend as I please. And he also told me to establish a cover identity as a freelance adventurer. He suggested I join the fighter's guild or a mage's guild or imperial cult, advance in the ranks, gain skill and experience or go out on my own, get freelance work. Very good. Then, when I'm ready, I come back to Caius for orders. So, we've basically been told by the game or the um, <clears throat> the fate or the um, the course of events that we have to deviate from the main quest and uh, faff about a bit and it is still raining incredibly so do you know we'll go in and sleep for another 24 hours watch this above or until healed as well I could also do that okay Will it ever stop? Okay, I'm just gonna wait another hour. What time is it now? 11 a.m. Oh. Right, we're gonna close the door. Because that's only the right thing to do. Oh well, okay, we might as well just get into it. Mm, not too happy with it raining. It would be nice if we'd actually just... No, you know what? I will not accept that it is raining. Things like Core doesn't mind a bit of comfort. And we still have this room, I think, for a bit yet, which is nice. <laughs> we exhausted ourselves walking down the stairs and then exiting the room. <laughs> we exhausted ourselves. And the fatigue is still dwindling. You like to walk a fine line, don't you? <laughs> I do. <laughs> Oh, yeah, okay, fair enough. I'm gonna rent it again. Oh, oh do you know what? We'll venture downstairs, we'll find a place to sit. We might even just sit here in the presence of... Only he stands there and just be... Hanging out? Because I think these two people have a lot to talk about. And again, it's a... Um, a healer, a, fe a fellow scholar, a fellow Argonian scholar. So these people will just be sitting here chatting for 12 hours, having a good time, reminiscing about trips to Argonia and uh, beyond. Perhaps, perhaps only he stands there has only- Small fork on outside, or is it inside? Hmm? Oh, wait a second. Someone actually said, um, subtitles. Sorry I did not do this earlier. Love for him to say that again. But um we won't we missed out on what you said there, only he stands Why there. Why do you approach? Why do you approach? Kajit has no words for you. <laughs> 
the delivery of that line is really really cool this better be important what say you what say you? okay jesus up here like just immersion break <sighs> you know warning immersion break or break breach of immersion um up here in northern europe it can be like that um where it just rains for hours and sometimes days i'm sure it does so in many parts of the world but well, not over an extended period of time like it does here. It's very, ter it's a bit terrible, and it kind of reminds me of this. Or this reminds me of it. Do you know when you're visiting, you're out traveling and you're visiting a place, and you arrive, the weather's just terrible. You check the forecast, it's just terrible. What do you do? You go to a museum or library or a bookshop. So that's what we are going to do. And I think this would be an an amazing opportunity to Traveler. buy some books that will inform us of our upcoming choice in terms of getting an identity. And when I mean getting an identity, finding a faction that we can relate to. And there are many great books. Ooh, ABC for Bavarians. You know, I'll buy that one. Oh, the other books. I have to read the um, full, uh, all the volumes of the Berenzia epic. I read it years ago. Just it'd be nice to go through it again. Chronicles of Nchelift. 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 Um, God to Balmora. Do you know what? Let's go for this. I'll tell you what I can. Thank you. Please come again. Okay. Background. Bookseller. I think we've talked to Dorisa. So let's go for it. Jesus, we've exhausted ourselves going to the library and everything. Now, mm, it's still raining. Do you know what I'll do? Just because, ah, uh, I think this is MGEXE actually allows you to stand and take shelter. I don't remember this was possible in the original game. But um, there's still some water dripping through the uh, the, the the clay structure, but uh, the building structure. But it's okay. So I will read just a bit about first Balmora. Let's familiarize ourselves with where we are. So this is Balmora. I think again, it is fairly large. It's probably bigger than the average Elder Scrolls town or city. Laoa is a cute little fishing hamlet. I really like going down there. And Foyara. Oh, Foyara, that's the name. I remember now, that's the structures that I call Lahars uh, yesterday. Basically, these erosive features that radiate away from Red Mountain. Uh, that's so cool. Foyaras, that's it. That's how it is. Uh, so we traveled up by. from Sedeni and. We went past Pelagiad. We went the right way. It's just me who probably just... I, yeah, we brought core, things like core the right way. Fort Moonmoth, and then we went in here. And if we go further up, we can get to Ghost Gates if we go another way. But that means it looks like the way to Ghost Gate is a bit... Doesn't really seem to be a direct pass up to Ghost Gate. Caldera. As far it would be nice to visit also in the coming time. Okay, so let's read a little bit about Balmora. It's not a long text, so stay with me. I think it's just a good way to, I don't know if we'll go in depth about services, but it's just a way to familiarize ourselves with the political and the societal setting that we're in right now. So, <clears throat> Balmora is the district seat of House Lalu and the largest settlement on Badenfell after Vivek City. Balmora's four districts are Hightown, the Commercial District, the Labour Town and Fort Moonmoth. Hightown on the hill to the west has the Tribunal Temple, Lalo Council Hall, Rich Manors, Better Shops and the Morag Tong Guild Hall. That's very... Anyways, yeah. And the Morag Tong Guild Hall. Cool. The Commercial District just west of the river is centered on the large plaza north of South Gate with a strider port along the south wall east of South Gate. The Fighters Guild and Majors Guild and most of Balmora's shops and inns are located along the streets of the commercial district. Labour town east of the river where the commoners and poor live 
has several modest has several modest corner clubs and a few merchants. Fort Moonmoth, a long walk southeast of town, houses the Legion garrison and the Imperial cult. Okay, services. House Lalo services are available at Lalo Council Manor in High Town. Temple Faithful seek solace and services at the Balmora Temple in the southeast. Outlanders must travel outside the town walls through South Gate and east along well-marked roads to Fort Moonmoth for Imperial Legion and the Imperial Cult services. Which is interesting because we can, as far as I remember, both join the Imperial Legion but also the Imperial Cult. The guild halls of the Fighters Guild and Mages Guild are on the street north from the plaza in the commercial district. That's it, Mark Tong services are available at they are guild hall in the extreme northwest of High Town. Better shops are okay, so it's just okay to say better shops, but fair enough. I guess better shops in terms of their supply being better, but I'm not gonna go investigating this. Better shops are in High Town on the hill, with numerous merchants in the commercial district west of the t west of the river, and a few traders in Labor Town east of the river. Notable figures. Oh, okay, fair enough. Let's get an idea of who's really pulling the strings in this town, let's see. None of the Lalo councillors live in Balmora, as someone told us earlier. Nileno Dovain. Nileno Dovain at the council hall is the ranking Lalo local. At the Fighters Guild, Idis Fireheart is the steward. Ranis Athras is the Mages Guild steward. Ithasa Rilwain is the Morak Tong steward. Feldrelo Satri is the ranking cleric of the Palmora Tribunal Temple. The colorful sugar lips. Habazi, a freelance facilitator of no fixed address, is often rumored to be the local boss of the Thieves Guild. But who knows? Transportation. A good road leads south to Pelagiat, Sedanin, Eppenhardt, and Vivek. And Vivek. A rugged wilderness track leads southwest along the Ode River to the fishing village of La Oed. Improved roads head north to Caldera and Aldrun. The Siltstrider port is on the west side of the river near South Gate. Siltstrider service goes to Aldrun, Suran, Aldrun, and Sedanin. Guild guides at the Mages Guild can teleport you to Aldrun, Vivek, Caldera, and Satrat Mora for a fee. Laod is southwest on the coast. An unimproved trail leads northeast up the ravines of Foyara Mamaea? Mamaea? Mamaea, I think. Or Mamaka. Can't actually see if that's an E, so that that is an E, yeah. Mamaea 2. Ghost Gate. The path is easy to follow, but dangerous beasts threaten pilgrims who travel this road to Ghost Gate Shrine. Ah yes, there is a pilgrim route. We can undergo a pilgrimage in this game. Which is quite cool. It spans the, across the entire island, so we might as well just give that a go at some point. But, next bit of literature. Oh, we're standing out in the rain reading. Will it ever stop? Do you know what? I'm gonna read inside here. We're gonna pretend that. Ooh, the true nature of orcs. That is a very, I don't know, controversial title. Great Houses of Morrowind. Here we go. The big read. Let's just see how long it is. Okay, I'm just gonna scroll down to the chapters on House Lalu and the chapters on House Telvani, because those are the ones that I want us to choose between. Sure, we've only got limited time and we wanna move on, don't we? Okay. In modern times. Okay, first of all, title. <clears throat> Great Houses of Morrowind. In modern times, Morrowind is ruled by five great houses. House Lalu, House Redoran, House Telvani, House Indoril, and House Dress. Only three of these houses have interests in Vadenfell. The three great houses in Vadenfell identify themselves by their traditional colors. Red for Redoran, yellow for Lalu, and brown for Telvani. Thus, members of House Lalu may be referred to collectively as yellows. Okay, so you don't get to interact with Indril or House Dress because they simply aren't relevant here in Vadenfell. Or as relevant here in Vadenfell. 
The great houses traditions derive from ancient Dunmer clan and tribes, but now function as political parties. Dunmer Great House membership is largely a matter of birth and marriage, but imperial colonists may also become retainers of a great house or may be adopted into a great house. Initially, an outlander may gain status in a house as an oath bonded hire. Bonded? Oath bonded? Yeah, oath bonded hireling, pledging exclusive loyalty to a single house or and forsaking ambitions with all other houses. Meaning that we can join a house, but then we can't join the others because there's so much conflict between them that, it, you know, you can join Fighter's Guild and Major's Guild. I'd imagine also here in Morrowind if you want to, but within the houses, it's like that choice you make is exclusive. And I do think that there is a way that you can kind of cheat the game into joining more um, houses at the same time, but I'm not really sure because that's a while ago as well. Anyways. Later, after faithful service and advancement in lower ranks, an outlander may seek adoption into a great house. Adoption and advancement to higher ranks in a great house requires that a great house counselor stands as sponsor for the candidate's character and loyalty. Finding a counselor to sponsor an outlander often involves performing a great service for the prospective sponsor. House Redoran is one. Okay, that's House Redoran. Yes, House Lado. So, this is the first choice that we have to make. And do you know what? I don't think I'll make it in this video. I think we'll be um, arsing around a little bit, trying to explore the surrounding area. And then you can all can have a think about it. Come back and let me know whether you want. Um, us to join Telvani or Lalo. As I said in the previous playthrough, joining Lalo would probably be would probably be the morally most relatable path to go through, according to things like Core. Just basically because they're more open to outsiders. Telvani, on the other hand, are very hostile, but they're also very interesting, I find at least. There's really, really cool characters that will stay with you forever um, when you get to meet them. So just for the sake of the conflict and the drama, I am inclined to choosing Telvani. But let's read about House Lalu and then make an informed decision. As a result of its close relationship with the Imperial administration, House Lalu has emerged as politically and economically dominant among the great houses of Vadenfell and Morrowind. Lalu welcomes Imperial culture and law, Imperial legions and bureaucracy, and Imperial freedom of trade and religion. Lalu still honors the old Dunmer ways, the ancestors, the temple, and the noble houses, but is readily adapted to the rapid pace of change and progress in the imperial provinces. Unlike the other great houses, which are largely hostile to non-Dunmer, House Lalu aspires to live in peace and harmony with the other races, and to share in the growth and prosperity of the empire. Lalu public buildings, trade houses, and craft guilds, manors, and council houses and council halls are designed as simple multi-storied buildings roughly rectangular in plan, featuring arched entranceways and modest decorated exteriors and modest decorated exteriors. Which you kind of see here around in Balmora as well. Very well expressed. More modest one-story private dwellings follow the same plan except with less decoration. Lalo plantation estates resemble temple compounds with walled precincts enclosing outbuildings for craftsmen and servants dominated by a grand manor residence in place of a temple shrine. Okay, so what we've gathered from this is that Lalu is an outward looking, very much an outward looking faction compared to the others at least, um, especially compared to Telvani, which you'll find out in a moment's time. Lalu seeks to create, what you can say like, foreign diplomatic ties with the surrounding provinces. In a sense, you could probably deem them to be progressive and progressive in the good if, political sense. Progressive in the sense that the emphasis here is change and progress. So they're ready to move forward with the political evolution that Tamriel has undergone over the last few hundreds of years. And remember, these are the Dunmer. They do live for hundreds of years. So there'd be great 
it'll be really interesting to see how that works if that really does work out as successfully as initially hoped are the lalu integrating with the imperials are the lalu collaborating with the imperials and to which extent is house lalu also enforcing imperialism or imperial culture and pol politics here in the across the island perhaps they have active initiatives against the slave trade here in morrowind here in vadenfeld in particular we don't know yet but let's give it a look but anyways let's go and have a read about Tilvani because they are quite opposite in that sense um but very interesting anyways <clears throat> The wizard lords of House Telvani have traditionally isolated themselves, pursuing wisdom and mastery in solitude. But certain ambitious wizard lords, their retainers and, and clients, have entered wholeheartedly into the competition to control and exploit Vardenfell's land and resources, building towers and bases all along the eastern coast. According to Telvani principles, the powerful define the standards of virtue, and the Telvani are unwilling to allow the ambitious Lalu to dominate Vardenfell's untapped resources by default. Telvani architecture is dominated by the Wizard's Tower, a fantastic organic form, grown and sculpted from stems, caps, and root-like holdfasts of the giant native mushrooms. Silvani villages are comprised of smaller mushroom pots hollowed out for craftsmen and commoners. Open air markets often include the giant cages displaying the wares of the slave masters. So, a few things here. I know more about House Silvani than I know about House Lalu. House Silvani is deeply dysfunctional. It is dysfunctional because the wizard lords as mentioned here, this means um, of all genders within House Telvani, those of them who have ascended to this rank, are all deeply egotistical, are so far up their own, their own ends that they cannot see anything other than themselves and their own ambitions. That's not all of them. Now, there is in particular one guy that I remember and he is probably the youngest of the Wizard Lords and he is quite nice actually. And he, I think, wants to bring House Salvani into a bit more of a um, self-reflective period or a self-reflective capacity. But that's some, this is a story for another time. Do you know what? I'm just going to read about House Indril and House Dress. We won't interact with them in this game, but it might be good to just know how they sit within all of this. I know we've completely skipped over House Redren. I will rectify that at some point, but um, I'm just so excited about just choosing between these two crazy factions. And the more I read about it, the more I want to just take you through House Telvani, because it just sits with me after all these years. It just sits with me, the, the complete insanity of it. House Indurel and House Dress are the two great houses without holdings or interest in Vardenfell. Indurel district occupies the heartland of Morrowind, comprising the land south of the Inner Sea and the eastern coast. The city of Almalexia is located in Indurel district, and the Indurel are orthodox and conservative supporters of the Temple and Temple Authority. So we will actually, I think, get to explore House Indurel in the DLC um, Tribunal but I don't really remember engaging with them in the game though, uh, when I played it. <clears throat> House Indoril is openly hostile to imperial culture and religion and preserves many traditional Dunmer customs and practices in defiance of imperial law. Dress District is in the south of Morrowind, bordering the swamps and marshes of Black Marsh. House Dress is an agrarian agricultural society and its large saltrice plantations rely completely on slave labor for their economic viability. Always firm temple supporters, House Dress is hostile to imperial law and culture and in particular opposed to any attempts to limit the institution of slavery. So I think House Dress is also one of these, one of the factions that are eventually, you say put it lightly, doomed by the events of Skyrim as the slave rebellion in Black Marsh destroys and destabilizes a lot of Dunmer society in between the events of Morrowind and Skyrim. Yeah, that was a good... Where's that slave? You can hear them. Just like it's uh, it's so open around here, the, um, the slave trade. So we're definitely going to... Do you know what? 
We're gonna get some training, and I think these people here, you can see there's some shadows up in the roof, some people yes. standing up there. So we'll go up and ask if any of them offer blades training. And I just want to see where we are in terms of our stats. Um, anyways, okay. Do you want something? Training. Yes, so... Oh, I forgot how expensive it is, but like, definitely let's train long blade. Hey, and that changed the weather as well. Oh, oh, sorry, we got distracted. Just a moment. Just want to see turn us these two. You talk too much, Outlander. Okay, background. Oh, he's from the Kimono Tongue. I thought he was a friend of ours. I remember one of them. Death is upon you. You talk to me, Chalpander. Death is upon you, you should find a healer. Okay, so we have... What's the love master? Freelance work. I'm just trying to find those people that... We've got nine toes here, and I just don't know where nine toes is, so that's one thing. I remember we walked past his house at some point, but he was a, a, tr a blades trainer. And I would actually just like to... Do you know what? We've got a map. Let's go here, and... So, let's actually come up with a plan while I'm just looking for nine toes now I'm just looking after nine toes house let's look oh Lalo Manor Lalu Manor okay so that's with an O in the end here interesting um nine toes so Drain Thelis oh I remember that we have, there's something about rats in her basement or in her house. Uh, nine toes, he is. Where's that? There's nine toes. Okay, so just opposite the other side of the river. And. Um, so, okay. Things like Kor is, of course, a little bit confused about. I will listen out there. Ooh, sorry, I won't get in the way of you and your work. But Things like Kor is thinking about what he needs to do and one thing he just wants to see is can you see that can you see that thing there out in the distance the glowing thing so behind it is the summit of red of red mountain that's the volcano just and so we're looking towards the summit of red mountain the volcanic structure and what you can see there is these giant fences Ooh that are protecting the this is what happens when you get excited about something and you're out in the open you end up falling and um, then you have to swim all the way back um, so things like Koa is of course very excited about it all but also very overwhelmed because he has to make a choice between House Lalu and Telvani he does not have to but he's very intrigued because he sees that he can have political influence in this place and it's something that he strives for. The scholar inside him says that there's something interesting to discover from these factions. But... And some of you are probably like, why didn't you read about uh, House Redoran? I will do at some point, but um, we've got so much to do that I was just going to focus on what was relevant at the immediate moment. So, we've got Ghost Gate over there, and behind it, the summit of Red Mountain in the background. So, the fences basically circular, or the system of fences basically circle all of the, um, the summit itself, the inner summit, if you could say it like that. And it's meant to keep what's inside away from what's outside. So, there's something behind those fences. Ghost fence, ghost gate? I can't actually remember if the fences are also called ghost gate, but um, they are remarkable. They're huge as well. We'll get there. It's a dangerous place though, so we'll have to wait a bit. Oh, there is traffic on that 
bridge, so we won't go there. Lovely evening mood here in Balmora also. Um, okay. So... Still trying to figure out what we're going to choose between. If we're going to go with the Lala route, we're going to have to... We'll stay here in Balmora. And I'd love to progress with the main quest, but I do think it'll be more fun if we actually did as he said. And I keep forgetting about Nine Toes as well, because I'm not that interested in training, but we'll go over and train regardless. So let's do that. Oi, there's a traffic jam over there. They're all excited to meet each other, so that's good. Nine toes. Okay, nine toes. We'll also get to know a little bit about nine toes as well, so let's... Mm -hmm. And what book does he have under his bed? A dance in the fire. A dance in fire. Nine toes. Welcome, novice sings like gore. Nine toes is my name. Honda is my trade. I'll be happy, I'd be happy to share a little advice or Morrowind lore with a fellow blade. Mm hmm? Or maybe you'd like to catch up on the latest rumors. We would like to do that, maybe. I'm trying to update our maps of the bitter coast. There are no good maps of this area, period. Islands, mountains, swamps, lakes, rivers, it's impossible. I'm getting to know the swamps and waterways here, maybe as well as the natives. But I can't blend with the natives and I'm useless in the West Gash or the Ashlands. And I don't see why their maps are so important. Smuggling maybe? Hmm? But I'm wondering if they're thinking about moving, about landing and moving the legions through here in case of trouble. Okay, Hunter and Journeyman of the Blades. The Blades, I am a blade too, and I report to Caius like you. You're welcome to use my bed to rest, but leave my other stuff for Rallo, please. Mm-hmm, which is interesting because, I don't know, I just feel like there's a bit more space in I Marsh Brother. Tidings. Marsh Brother, Marsh Brother, I like that. Okay, um, he has that Parasaurolophus horn in the background also, or in the back of his head. Training. Athletics. Um, no. Nine toes. Yes, I am nine toes. Um, let's hear a little bit, let's see if there, he has some rumors. I guess a little bit, some of the rumors repeat themselves a bit much, it's so... Um, I'm just trying to see if there's something new here. Okay, little secret that we might find interesting. If you are thinking of traveling up country near Shagorad or out Molagamur way, or inside the ghost fence, the ghost fence, that's what it's called. Ghost gate is the road into, or is the, the portal into the ghost fence, I guess you. Okay. You need to learn about Corpros. Mmm. It's a disease that turns normal creatures into beasts, turns men into twisted, mad lumps of flesh, superhumanly strong and full of hatred. You get Corpros from fighting with diseased creatures. It's hard to get Corpros, but harder to get rid of it. In fact, I hear there's no cure. Oh yeah, the Corpros thing, it's quite nasty, so... Let's be uh, vigilant. Morrowind lore. The first age Dunmer tribes that settled Morrowind became the modern Great House clans. Auslanders also descend from these early Dunmer tribes. Okay. Interesting. And... Ah, I don't think I've had this one here. On Outlanders. Mmm. Okay. <clears throat> An outlander is anyone born and raised outside of Morrowind. With three R's, I like that. Morrowind. Morrowind. I like that. Most Dunma think anyone who isn't a native-born Dunma is an outlander. Dunma with western words and ways are also immediately identified as outlanders. Dunmar are 
very sensitive to accents, clothes, and manners in Morrowind. Outlanders are foreigners, and Morrowind does not like foreigners. It's not bad here in Lado territory, but on the rest of Vadenfell, folk are very cool to Outlanders. Which is why it would be such an achievement if we actually made it into House Telvanni. Hmm. Right, I can't afford to train for the skills that I actually want to train for. I'd like to just be better at destruction and... Longblade. Those are the ones I want to prioritize. And light armor might be good just to give us a bit better protection as well. Oh, they're still at it over there on the bridge. Okay. So let's go back up here in the center of it all. I'm very excited about it. I'm very excited about all of this, so that's why I probably go on. And I do a thousand things in a row without having any sort of real path or plan in mind. But I think we're getting there. I am... I'm getting more... Okay. So let's look at it from the perspective of things like Kor. We've got Lalu and we've got Telvani. Telvani will... I don't know how it will be to join House Telvani as beast folk, as an Argonian, when House Telvani clearly wants to imprison or at least, um, you know, do very bad things to beast folk just in general. How's Lalo and, the, and, and <laughs> things like core knots are like that? And how's Lalo on the other hand are probably... They're not less interesting, that's not what I'm trying to say. But I think what it is is that they are trying as much as possible to exert imperial influence, I think, and to as much as possible promote imperial influence across the province of Morrowind just in general. And don't forget, things like Kor is from Cyrodiil, so he is used to Imperials, and he's, he's very used and very comfortable around Imperial culture. But at the same time, he doesn't anticipate there will be necessarily that he will do as much great work as if he goes in and infiltrates Telvani. Will he have the stomach to infiltrate and lie to the leaders of House Silvani, or will he go the easy route and join, not the easy route necessarily, but will he go a more relatable route and join House Lalu? So, I, and relatable in that sense that these are people who he would probably share a lot of moral and ethic sentiments on just because they are not as xenophobic as the Telvani, for instance. I'm Sorry, just stranger. My time is short, so get on with it. I'm just gonna hear if they offer training to someone from the outside. They do, luckily so. And we don't have enough for destruction, but maybe we can sell some stuff that will give us enough money for that. And again, we can't wear a helmet. So we've got loads of stuff to sell here. And she takes most objects. She's like, wow. She will buy everything I have in my in inventory. That is wonderful. I really like that. Despite the fact that I have skooma as well in it. Let's get rid of all these boots and the chitin thing and the daggers as well. We have the vase, tankard, bowl, bottle, 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 pillow. Oh, we want to read the ABC for barbarians as well. That is cute. That is actually very cute that that exists. The tax record, we don't really need that anymore because we've solved that case. And the Wraith's Wedding Dowry, we need to read that at some point also. So I'll keep that close to myself. I'll keep that close to us. Um, I think that should be it. Should we see if we can push it up a bit here to maybe 40? No, she doesn't want that. 38, no. 36, okay. Training. Let's go in and just level up in destruction. You cannot train a skill above its governing attribute. Okay, so I guess we're already quite proficient at destruction. I take it, maybe. God, who knows? 
Um, maybe she's got some spells or something we can try. Amulet of... You're joking, that's only five gold. Well, let's do. Um, let's see here. Restore health on self. We already have... Don't we have a spell to restore health on? Anyways, it's light, so let's keep it. Um, divine Intervention. Let's have a Divine Intervention spell just in case... Or scroll, sorry, just in case something happens. Because um, there are some nasty things around. And we did talk about getting a shock spell because the Dunmer are, in, what do you call it, um, naturally um, immune to shock. So let's go and do that. Offer. And now I do not remember how you buy spells in this game. Origin of Major Skill. That is there for us to read, but I'm just going to walk down and hear if... Oh, spells. There's an... Oh, faction members only. Argonian. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Rhinus Athris. Oh, we've heard that name before. Maybe we'll join the Major Skill. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> hmm? Yes. You look like the sword we could use in the Major Guild. Will you take the Major's Oath and join the Guild? Yes, we will. You are now a member of the Mages Guild. Welcome, Associate. When you are ready, you can ask for duties to perform. And once you are ready... And once you're ready, you can ask me about an advancement in the Guild. Okay. Um... Ah, do you know, we need the cash. So let's go for some duties. I don't have any duties for an Associate. Speak with me again when you have proven yourself. In the meantime, speak with Ajira. Ajira. I believe she may have some small tasks for you. Okay, we'll do. Spells. What's your rank, Sings like Kor? Mm? No, sorry. Later, perhaps when you're a higher rank. But not now. Okay, great. We'll go down and ask if some lower ranked members have spells they want to sell me. But that's fair, though, that she doesn't want to waste her time on someone who is as far down in the ranks as I am. Or at least maybe as annoyingly um, self-entitled uh, at times as things like Kor. Because he's a great mage, but his skills from Cyrodiil just haven't transferred properly over here to Morrowind yet. Sean Gramuzko. May your battle show only victory, friend. I cannot think with all these interruptions. Please, leave me alone. Ooh, but we just want... You'll have to get rid of that moon sugar if you want any services from me. I don't want any trouble. Okay. Oh, okay. So I'm just gonna drop the moon sugar on the ground. As I always do. I don't know where that all that moon sugar came from. Like, if any of you remember when we picked it up, do, do let me know, because that is just... Man, maybe we did so in the... Yeah, I think they're from Adam Asatis or something. Shankar Musko. What? Are you deaf? No interruptions. I can't think. <laughs> oh, sorry, Sean. Okay, spells. Let's see. Um, restore health. Cure common disease. That would actually be quite good to have. Strong Feather, Spell Absorption. Um, I know that there's probably one or two of these that would be good for me to purchase, but we're very limited on cash, and I do want to have a Shock spell before I... <laughs> before I do anything. Mm, will I pick up the Skooma, or will I not? We will, we will, we will. Very good. And I don't know why I sneaked when I did that, because that's yes, obviously... Argonian. Future. What do you want? Esterdalin. 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 I like that name. Okay. She will sell me stuff. And she has this lovely frost damage spell that I will definitely take to myself. Oh, paralysis. Definitely. <laughs> Imagine buying a bound helm. 
I actually wanted to see if that even works. It's a stupid experiment, but sure, look, sometimes you have to waste your money. I just want to see if it works on Argonians and how it works as well. Okay. Shock. Damage on touch. It's not... Very good spell, but anyways. We might use it against, um, I don't know, something. Something, something. And... Okay, she's probably one of those that have... Yeah, she's probably one of those lower ranked members of the Mage's Guild. Let's see, background. I'm Estet Allen, Mage and Apprentice of the Mage's Guild. Thank you, Estet Allen. Maroin. Looking for something in particular? Mm, just want to see if you also have some... Ooh! Fire Shield. Charm. Frost Shield. Very protective things that he has. <clears throat> oh, there she is, Ajira. We'll yes, talk sir. to her afterwards. Masseline. Masseline. Rhymes with Vaseline. Masseline. Very good. Spells. I just want to see what she has. She has some interesting things. Resist blight might be good. Um. Okay and travel so we can travel actually through they've got a teleportation device here in the mages guild which is quite cool um so i think this is the platform that you teleport on i remember it what was i thinking i do well don't be so hard on yourself the house of troubles we're gonna read that on another point let's it's talk to <laughs> ajira what brings you to Ajira's shop? Do you want duties from Ajira? Do you want the local brews? Or help in a fight? Some Tilvani book musk? Or a way to reach the high places? We would like to hear about the local brews, actually. Let's do that. Yes, Ajira sells Matze, Flynn, and Sujama. They make you as strong as a Kaguti and half as smart puts hair on your face. <laughs> nice. Help in a fight. Ajira sells potions of restored health from when you are bleeding and potions of restored fatigue when you are weary. Maybe some Telvani musk? Bug musk? <clears throat> Ajira does not like the Telvani, but even Kajit like the smell of bug musk. Try some. And smell how all the women like you. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna go for Judas now, I think. Yes, Ajira has duties for you. Before Ajira can be a journeyman in the Mage's Guild, Ajira must study local mushrooms. Oh, study local what? Mushrooms? To finish Ajira's report, Ajira needs samples of Luminous Rusula, Violet Coprinus. Bungless pain and Haifa Fascia and Haifa and Haifa Fascia. Ajira knows you can find all these on the bitter coast. The easiest way is go south along the river Ode until you see a wooden bridge across the river. Get out of the river there and find a path east over the hills. Okay. So this is the Khajiit I was went mentioning that we we're going to do a few duties for, so um, a, f a bit of fungi picking for. So that's what we're going to be heading up to do. So let's see what our journal says. Ajira asked Singsley Kaur to bring her samples of four types of mushrooms. Luminous Rusula, Violet Coprinus, Coprinus, Bungless Bane and Hyphafasia. They may be found in the swamps of the Bitter Coast. I can get there by following the river Ode south of Balmora until I see a wooden bridge. After I pass the bridge, I should look for a way over the hills to the west. Now we do have a few of these already in an inventory because we're very dedicated uh, to um, picking those. So let's see, we don't already have them. Luminous Rusla, Violet Corpinus, Bungless, Spain. I remember all of them, so let's just go. Um, we have... Lumin Hyphafasia, we do have that. Luminous Rufula, Bungless Bane, and Luminous Rufula, Violet Coprinus. Do we not have all of them, so? 
properly. Has things like ore found the mushrooms that Jira needs? Do you have samples of all the mushrooms? Luminous Rosula, Violet Copernus, Bungless Bane, and Hyperfasia? Yes, we already have. And they've all been removed. Perfect. Yes, yes, these are all good samples. Now, Ajira can write the report and be a journeyman of the Mage's Guild. Ajira has made potions for you to take in return. Ajira is no great alchemist yet, but Ajira thinks you can use these. Oh, perfect, thank you so much. Let's ask her for duties. Yes, Ajira has more duties for things like core. Ajira made a bed with Galbedir. Ajira made a bed with Galbedir that Ajira would be journeyman before Galbedir. Now Ajira must study these mushrooms and write a report. Ajira wants you to give Galbedir a fake soul gem. Mm -hmm, a fake soul gem. Okay. Ajira has made a fake soul gem. Take it and put it in Galbedir's desk upstairs. Galbedir should be coming downstairs to talk with Marayin Drent, so no one will see you do this thing. Okay, so we have a fake soldier that we have to put in his desk upstairs. Okay, <laughs> consider that done. And let's see if Galbedir is... Did we get the gender of Galbedir? I'm not sure. Let's see if it's Galbedir. Oh, Galbedir is there. Okay. Hello. We are not... Onto anything sinister at all. No. Okay, Galbedir is. I think this is Galbedir. Yes, Galbedir is this. Okay. Oh, she's really into the you know, mysticism stuff or conjuration stuff. Okay. So, I think we're hidden. Fake soldier. Very good. Let's go downstairs and see if. Very good, Kelpidir is here, okay. Standing, staring into thin air, as we all do from time to time. It's absolutely okay to do. Greetings. Aj greetings, Ajira. Has things like Koal put the fake soul gem in Kelpidir's desk? We have indeed. You have put the gem in their desk, as Ajira asked. Ajira thanks you. Mm-hmm. We are very effective as a major skilled member here, so let's go and um, ask her for more duties. Mm hmm. Ajira must now study local flowers. Yes, Ajira must study flowers now. Ajira needs samples of gold canet, stone flower petals, willow anther, and heather. These can all be found in the shores of Lake Amaya. Lake Amaya, where's that? To go to, to get to Lake Amaya, go southeast out of Balmora, past Fort Moonmart, then follow the signs and take the road to Pelagiat. After you cross the Foyada Mamea, go towards Suran on the west at the next crossroad. All the flowers the Jira needs are near the path to Suran, which runs along the north shore of Lake Amaya. We might go there and just make a brief stop to Asuran. Um, as some of you know, there is a, well, and um, the infamous, I think it's House of Earthly Delights, or... Right, I'm listening. Sorry, Galbedir, we are just getting past you so we can move out on Ajira's little quest here. Gold canets, stone flower petals, willow, anther, and heather. I don't think I have all of them, but you know what? Let's go and have an and for so we black anther. That's not the one that she wants. It's willow anther that she wants. Willow anther, we have that. Heather. Oh, yeah. we've got. Do we have heather? She is right here. Yes. Stone flower petals. Yes, we have that as well. Uh, gold can it. Okay, we're not gonna go to Saran just yet, but um, there's a strip bar there. Uh, not a strip bar, but there is a. Um, what is this about, Argonian? 
a stage with go-go dancers, just in case you didn't know that this existed inside the game. There is, and uh, I'll see if we can make a trip past there. Warm uh, greetings. The Basmer speaks? The Basmer speaks, no, the Agonian speaks. Um, okay. Does things like Kor have flowers for Ajira? He does indeed. Do you have the flowers that Ajira wants? Yes, here they are. Mm-hmm. Yes, these are the flowers that Ajira needs. Ajira has made more potions for you. Ajira hopes that you will use them well. Okay. Great, we've got six cheap Restore Magica that has been added to our inventory. Okay. Uh, do this. Ajira is very sorry. Ajira has much work to do on the report, so Ajira can win her bet with Galbidia. Maybe you can fetch a new ceramic bowl for Ajira, hmm? A ceramic bowl? Okay, let's try that. Yes, take these ten drakes and go find Ajira a ceramic bowl. Ajira Tings Ravir, the trader here in Balmora, has some. Okay, unless we don't already have a ceramic bowl. I think that would be a bit of a stretch if we did. But um, I think at some point I had a ceramic bowl, but yeah. Um, so let's go to Ravir, the trader, and talk to him about purchasing a ceramic bowl. Is there downstairs? There is someone watching me. I can tell. There is. Okay, I could have done that. But anyways... Revere, 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 Revere. So I guess these are the good shops that we read about in the Balmora Guides. Outfitter, Lucky, Revere, there we go. So on the other side might be the lesser um, shops. Okay, Revere. Oh, there you are. Khajiit has no words for you. Mm, I think you will once I start spending my money here. Okay. Revere knows why you are here. You want to buy Revere's famous Daedric weapons. Okay, well, that is quite an assumption, but anyways, let's ask what he means with that. What? You say these are not Daedric weapons? No, you are right. But Revere is no liar. When you wish it, Revere's fiend, demon, and devil weapons will be as sharp as fine Daedric and as light as a Natchez air sac. The magic lasts a short time, but long enough to punch through the toughest armor. Ravia buys them directly from the Telvani. You will not find any cheaper in old Balmora. Okay, barter. So he's got a decorative bowl. Um, God, he's a lot of different bowls. A ceramic bowl, here it is. That's incredible. Red, large redware bowls. The amount of Bowls, yeah, that's incredible. Okay. So, Demon Tanto, Devil Spear, Fiend Katana, Fiend Canto. I like that, though, but... My God, the price for that Katana, for instance, is just crazy. And I wouldn't even say that I'm that intrigued by its stats. I could... I don't know. Well, it's... um. Hmm. Wait, so it does bound long sword on self? Okay, do you know what? That's fine. We can't afford anything right now, so it's going to be fine. I just want to try and see what happens if you cast a bound helm on an Argonian. Beast ways, yeah, beast races cannot wear full helmets. So it is a wasted spell, um, but it's good to just, I just wanted to see if the game somehow had not thought of it or had thought of it. So it has. Um, anyway, things like Core has acquired a ceramic bowl for Ajira. We're on the way back now. To Ajira. Swift hunting, friend. And you do. Ajira must find our stolen reports. Oh no, there's a situation here. Okay. Ajira needs your help very, very badly. 
Galbedir stole Ajira's reports on the properties of local mushrooms and flowers. Ajira knows Galbedir did not leave the mage's guild, so the report must be nearby. Okay, so... Ajira told me that her reports on the mushrooms and flowers of Vadenfell have been stolen. Ajira thinks that Galbedir stole them. I should look around the mage's guild here in Balmora for the reports and return them to Ajira. Way too many questions. I hope she is oh, not referring to. Did you want some? <laughs> oh wow! Slightly a bit of an overthinker she is. Okay, so I have to walk around, and do you know what? I am actually not joking when I'm saying I do not know where these reports are, because it's a while ago I've played it, and I don't remember this quest at all. But we'll have a look around different places to just kind of have it. Oh. Ah, Jira's fire report. Oh, flower report. Okay, let's read her flower report. <clears throat> Flowers of Lake Amaya. Journeyman report of Ajira. And I'll read it in my normal voice. Just, I don't want to do Ajira's accent a lot. Okay. Ajira studies hard to learn secret magic properties of gold canet, stone flower petals, willow anther, and heather. Gold canet has yellow flowers and very dark green leaves with sharp, with sharp spines. Gold canet and stone flower petals makes a paste that restores strength. The paste has some bad effects, but they last only short time. Stone flowers are dark blue and the flowers are very heavy, so they bend to the ground. It is very expensive, but Ajira can gain more magicka for a short time by mixing stone flower petals with, crust, with crushed emeralds and water. Willow flowers are red and very tall, with tall and thin leaves also. Willow very good for potions and has many uses. With frost salts, Azura made a shield of frost. With grave dust and green lichens, Azura made a potion to cure common diseases. And with cork bulb, Azura made a potion that can cure paralyzation. Which I, is that paralysis or paralyzation is an okay word. Anyways, doesn't matter. Ajira thinks Heather comes from Skyrim because the leaves look like the spiny leaves of trees in Skyrim. The flower is also pink like the Nord people. I'm so sorry, that took me by surprise. Anyways, okay. I just gotta scroll down because that is a funny way to describe someone. Oh, okay. When, Rick, when mixed with Ruby, this, it makes very good potion to make you not weigh so much. With a scrap of scamp skin, Ajira made a potion to restore personality. Ajira works very hard to collect these flower samples from the dangerous Lake Amaya. <laughs> it's, uh, Ajira must do two reports and Galbadia must only do one silly report. <laughs> Ajira deserves rank of journeyman very much, very so soon. Now, I love this. It's supposed to be a scientific paper, which is just sorry, which makes it glorious to read. You know, it's just, um, oh, I can't oh, wait. To pink like the North people. It's a. <laughs> Oh, not appropriate yet for a scientific paper. Someone should inform Ajira of that. But sure, look, um, I'm sure that some of her colleagues are incompetent at many things as well. And where else could Ajira's mushroom report be than here? Okay, mushrooms of the bitter coast. Ajira studies four common mushrooms in Vadenfell. Luminous Rusula is a toadstool-like mushroom with a brown spot on top. All Rusula has strong odors, but Luminous Rusula much stronger. Rusula can be poisoned if not prepared right. When mixed with pearl dust, it makes very good potion to breathe under the water. Violet Coprinus is a tall toadstool that glows in the night. Coprinus also is poison if mixed wrongly, like if you mix with Rusula. Coprinus mixed with scales lets Ajira walk under water instead of lets Ajira walk under under water instead of under the water. 
much better. Bangla's bane looks like a brown shelf and grows from trees and sometimes wet rocks. Bandha's bane very bad for you and mixed with almost anything. Very hard to use. But Ajira found Bangla's bane and leftover crushed pearl makes good dispel potion. No bad effects with Ajira's skill, but potion tastes very bad. Hyperfasia looks just like Bangla's bane. Confuses Ajira very easily, but Bungle's pain smells more dry and dusty. Hafafasia has little smell, but taste is very moist. Hafafasia very good mushroom for eating, but too much makes Ajira clumsy. Ajira used Hafafasia to make the Nyx hound meat more edible, and Ajira could smell all enchantments in Ajira's room. Ajira found no other use for Hafafasia. Ajira works very hard to go all over Bitter Coast and collect all these mushrooms. Ajira deserves rank of journeyman much sooner than Kalbidir. So this is just complete um, misuse of our time and energy. Like just takes all the honor of having or all the um, credit of having done this research. And we've done the field work, we've done the data collection, we've done the a sample collection, but Ajira is just sitting there and taking all the credit for everything and paying us with cheap potions, which is, I guess, what that's can Kajit do for you? A normal every day in these lands, yeah. So let's go for it. Has things like all found Ajira's stolen reports? Yes, we have indeed. Have you found Ajira's reports? Yes, here they are. Help me by the gods. Yes, these are the reports Ajira needs. Ajira thanks you, things like Goar. Ajira is your friend always. Ajira worked very hard on these potions for you. Okay, and Ajira is, re is really uh, fond of us as well. Ajira knows many secrets, but they are not yet for friend things like Goar. Speak with Ajira again when you are a warlock. Ranisathris here may have duties for you, but Ajira does not like Ranis much. Maybe you should speak with Ajira's good friend Edwina Elbert at the Guild of Mages in Aldurun. Interesting. I think this is the quest kind of forks at this point. I think. You have my attention. Well, it doesn't fork. You can do either, but. You can either, this is interesting, because you can either do quests for Ranis immediately, or you could go over to Aldrun and do quests for the other person. And I think we're going to stick with Ranis just because she's close by here. I've heard a lot about you, Outlander. Go ahead. Okay. I like the freckles that she has around her eyes. That's really cool. Okay. Um, will she train us? No, not yet. But we'll ask for advancement. Um, congratulations, you are now officially things like Kor, the apprentice. Study diligently and perform your duties. So let's ask her if she's got any duties. I don't have any duties for her, an apprentice, but you may be ready for advancement. Ah, so you have to click every single time you have to be, just to see if you've gotten all the advances. Okay, so I should have to click multiple times. Okay, so we're an evoker finally now. Um... <laughs> like that. Advancement in the Mages Guild does not occur by magic. Pay more attention to your duties and make sure you understand our requirements. What are their requirements, actually? Good question. The Guild of Mages only accepts candidate, candidates of keen intelligence and dominant will. Candidates must exhibit mastery in the great schools of magic. Of magic. Destruction, alteration, illusion, and mysticism. Candidates must must also display practical knowledge of enchantments and alchemical processes. Okay, interesting. So let's ask her about duties. Hmm, I need someone to convince an ex Telvani to join us. While you're there, you can collect Manway's guild dues. Oh, interesting. Okay, so let's hear about the guild dues first. The most exciting bit to the end. <clears throat> Manway has failed to pay her dues for several years and she now owes us over 2,000 septums. 
Allegedly, she is researching something in Punabi near Lara Bereloth in, Sulup in Sulipund. If you can convince her to pay the dues, I will split them with you. Otherwise, kill her. Okay, fair enough. Interesting. Um, wow, that is um, radical. Join us. Okay. <clears throat> the Tilvani's name is Laura Ber Berloth. She's in Sulibund. If you can't convince him to join, kill him. While you're there, collect the gildus from Manway. She is in Punabi nearby. Okay, Punabi is... Leave Bamora, going towards Fort Moonmoth to the east. Cross the old Dwemer Bridge, just north of the fort that leads into Molagamur. Go past the Dwemer Ruin and follow the winding trail east until you reach a lake. You will see Marandus to your south. I'll mark the stronghold on your map. Head north from Marandus on the path between the hills. Punabi will be on your right and Sulipund is further up the path on the left. Just follow the signs to Molokamor. Okay, Molokmor, sorry. Let's go do that. An adventure is right before our very eyes. And let's just... Super, okay. Manway, a guild member in Punabi, has not paid any guild dues in three months. Ron has asked me to find Manway and collect the dues from her. To get to Punabi, I should go south from Balmora and take the road east past Fort, Fort Moonmouth. I should cross the bridge northeast of the fort and continue east until I reach the lake. The old Dunma stronghold of Marandas is just south of the lake. Bonabi is on the trail that leads northeast from the lake. Okay. And then we have the other one here, which was which is kind of the main task. The other one is more of a side task related to it. Ron is asking me to convince Lavra Bereloth to join the guild. If he cannot be convinced, I must kill him. To get to Sullipund, I should leave Balmora. I should leave Balmora east and pass Fort Moonmoth, then cross the bridge to Malagamur and follow the trail east until I reach a lake. I should see a Dunmer stronghold to the south. If I head north on the path between the hills, Sullipund will be on my left just before the path splits. Interesting. So let's go for a walk, and uh, things like Kor is of course a little bit frightened about traversing the wilderness again but also at the same time is eager to see what it is that awaits him at his destination just because there's some he's learning a lot and oh he's learning a lot and I think it's part of he's he's trying to as much as possible become familiar with this new strange land that he's in he's never been to Morrowind obviously he's heard about it all his life but he's never never had any interactions with it. He gets a bit excited about these things, so we just need to be sure that he doesn't fall off a bridge again, because some of the bridges are much taller than this one. Um, beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm just checking here. Okay. It's kind of, we just need to consult with the map for a moment. Ron has convinced me to then walk to the bridge toward to Malaga Moor and pass and cross the bridge to Malaga Moor and follow the trail. Huh? Is there a sign to Malaga Moor? No, there isn't. Is there another path up here? Just want to be sure I'm not. Maybe she pass through Fort Moonmouth? Anyways, this is all part of it. Seems like Kor at this point has, um, he's got strong Argonian legs, so he is well able for this kind of journey. Let's see, for Moonmoth Legion, doesn't say anything. I don't know if you could pass through. Well, anyways, it's a good opportunity to just go through and look at the place. Can't pass through. No way we can pass through. And you can see the Dwemer ruin there in the background, that's gorgeous. Okay, um, yes. so we have a new strange creature here to add to our bestiary, a Nyx Hound. Oi, just a sec. Oh. 
An incredible creature also. Let's just study it here. Um, and take its meat. So, Nyx hounds are a bit, bit funny. It's difficult to see because of the low resolution um, of both textures and models, but it does have this um, kind of half invertebrate, half vertebrate look to it. It's more of a, I don't know, it's a funny, it's a funny animal. I've tried doing sketches of them in the past, but I can't really see how the different body parts are supposed to <laughs> translate in high resolution. But um, nonetheless, a, a very particular creature in its appearance. And of course, the Kwama Foragers. I don't like the poison that they throw at you. There we go. Oh, interesting. Okay. I have no idea whether we are walking in the right direction, and I'm not too happy about that cliff racer coursing about. Oh no, don't get closer, don't go closer, don't go closer. <gasps> Christ, 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 Christ. Okay. Oh no, 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 don't be stopping us now, rat. Okay, it's coursing along there, but it's not. Is it following? It has seen us. Okay. Go, 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 go. This is Sings Like Kors first encounter with a cliff racer, and he does not yet know how. Incredibly annoying. <laughs> there are there three of them. I really hope there's a guard or someone. Oh no, there it is. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Come on, come on, things like core. We can do this. We've got a healing potion just in quick. We need a healing potion. Oh, let's go for it. Anyways, let's go for it. One of. Ajira's healing restore health potions. Yes, first one down. Oh yeah, we're learning a lot from it. Okay, we are already. Okay, that's a very annoying thing. Um, we could also just grab a spell. Goom spell and run for it, but you know what? Let's let's do this. We will do that in the future. Oh, there we go. Okay, do you know what? I'm actually because we do also need to just get something out of our just perfect and last one. Yes. Okay. Cool. There are so many of these and they do not have anything on them there is razor plumes from one of them but we just wow oh he seems like he's exhausted uh, he is actually because his fatigue is quite low uh wait a second okay are we now we're walking north which i don't think we're supposed to until i see where the hell is Molagamor? Mirandas is over there. Hmm. Okay. Let's go this way and see. A script, just a script. Nothing else. We cleared an int. Higher for Yada of Chris of Cliff Racers. That is incredible. Well done, things like core. And I forgot to take the rat meat despite its putrefying smell. Okay. Such a structure. Wow. It's like a viaduct almost in a sense. It is a viaduct. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna go south. No, because that's where we came from. Where the hell is Molagamor? Do you know what? We'll go on. For the crack. For the fun of it. Um, beautiful viaduct also. Um, mm, 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 mm. It's also interesting that Ronnie's asked things like Core to 
um, kill Lara if it is that he doesn't choose to join Mage's Guild. And which makes me think if Rani has a background as a Tilvani person as well, like if she herself is an ex Tilvani member. Because it's a very Tilvani approach to to another person. It's like, oi! Human life isn't treasured highly in the Tilvani faction. Definitely. There we go. Oi! This is going very well. I'm a little bit annoyed that we don't get to use. Oh! That we don't get to use our destruction magic. Okay. This is where we probably have to be a little bit cautious. Because Dwemer ruins are. No, sorry, Daedric ruins are dangerous. Some scamps and sometimes at higher levels just some really awful creatures around so we'll just maybe even sneak past it. No, it should be fine. We don't even have to be that dramatic about it. I have no idea if we're walking towards Mulligan Moor, uh, but I am going, I will take us past all of this. this is, yeah, don't piss anyone off in here. It's a nice structure. It's very, um, very creative the way that they've created it. That they, they, they've modeled the the design of the buildings and the monuments. Okay. And does that one have a name? No, we need to get closer to it in order to discover it. And really, um, do you know what? We'll do that. Actually, I just want to. No. Oh, we're not gonna do that because there's a cliff racer there. I am sorry. It's not that I don't want to die. I just. Well, it is, but uh, it is tedious finding cliff racers, and we will be doing it so many times. And I know some of you will be like, "Oh, there are mods, you know, to reduce the reduce the number of cliff racers." But I'm gonna run this. I already have MGE XE, which is creating these lovely crepuscular rays. I don't really need more. I think beyond that. So, oh, we're we getting closer to Ghost Gate. Do you know what? We're actually walking towards Ghost Gate now. So, oi! You know what? Let's go for it. Oh! No! Okay. We need a restore health potion. Love that you failed. Okay. We are walking towards Ghost Gate. And you know what? We will go on to Ghost Gate. Because now we're here. And I think it will just be interesting seeing... Just to familiarize ourselves with the geography a bit more. And the unfortunate thing is that we'll have to walk back from Ghost Gate. Um, and sure, we can clear the path in the meanwhile. If anyone wants to travel this road as well, we'll just clear it in advance for them. almost there and there are also um, ghost gate is also a settlement so that means that we can just uh, stock up and some hopefully we'll find a trader that we can stock some restore health potions from oh uh, oh getting closer and closer will we make it to the settlement before we are before it descends upon us mm -mm 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 -mm. things like core is racing to go skate. Okay, do you know what? Let's go and get a. Where is the skooma potion? Let's try the skooma potion. Sure, we can get more of them. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. Oh. Cool. Oh! Ow! No! Okay. Do we have a restore ma. Yes, we have cheap restore magic potions. Let's have. A normal. No, we don't have that. Okay. And oh no! <gasps> there we go. Another one. Another one. No. There we go. Next one. Oh, hey! Okay. Just... Okay, 
now we are dangerously close to death. So, um, ooh, this is not looking good. Um, oh Christ, we should have used the ancestral. Um, let's see, what do we, what else do we have that could potentially save us? Oh, no, because then we can't use the claymore. But we do have this iron shield. So this, you must finish your current attack. Okay. Um, we've got throwing stars as well. Let's try this. Okay. Because this one just has so little life left. Oh my god, I forgot this is just... Okay, throw a star shield. I think you need something in your... You probably need to have marksman just a little bit... Uh, prioritize a little bit higher before you can... Uh, uh, see here, yeah, use throwing stars if you don't. So I just gotta... Yes, finally, I just need to slaughter that one. Come on, 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 Let's do this. This is such a good challenge. Can we finish to the end of this for Yada with and survive? <sighs> and we've got a divine intervention scroll just in case. That will be our next bet, I think. Because um, I think that we also have an Icarian flight. The only thing is then we'll have to use the... Where is it? I think you can use another scroll of our Kirin. Because the thing about. We have a scroll of a Kirin flight that we got from the fallen. from the wizard who fell to the ground near Sedanine. The thing about it is that it lasts for seven seconds. And so it's just enough time for you to jump off, shoot into the atmosphere, and then as you land, you will collide with the ground without having this extra ability to survive the jump. Uh, but we do have a, where is it? A potion of rising force, which may, gives us the ability to levitate. And that is good to use then. That is how basically we'll survive the fall. But do you know what? I think it would be amazing if we just use some of our magic to summon. ancestral ghost it is not the fastest follower or um let's call it summoned oh now we don't have enough magicka okay wow yes yes i get it we're dying cheat restore magicka another one another one Anyways. Join, I'll go for it. Goodbye. We're back at first move. I'm on. listening. <sighs> oh, oh, okay. I'm seeing cliff races everywhere I go now. I am already being I'm already traumatized from it. Okay. Um re-traumatized. Because it is, literally, you will not see, there could be one there behind that rock, and then you'll be walking along here, and you'll be fine, everything is good, and then suddenly you hear clock, and the whole screen turns red for a moment, and you suddenly turn around and you see the beast behind you. It's, that's just how you, just, uh, that's just the experience of walking around in Morrowind. Um, and I'm not saying that that is bad or anything, but I'm just saying that it is, it is awful at times. Okay, I'm gonna look at the directions again. We should go south from Belmore. Take the road east past Moonmoth. I should cross the bridge northeast of the fort. <sighs> northeast of the fort is up here, so that is the Dwemer Bridge that we see. The only thing is, how do you get up there? How do you get up there? Do you walk through? I would prefer they called it a viaduct. I think we have to traverse, go off trails and climb the terrain in order to get there. 
Oh, there is a path here. Okay. I did not see that. I apologize. Molek Mar. Sorry, that is it. Molek Mar. That's where we're going. Not to. Well, it's Molek Amor. But I guess it's the same direction. Okay, so I was wasting our time down the Fayada, but anyways, at least you've had a proper introduction to Cliff Racers, which I am delighted to give you. Just, I would not be happy about a reintroduction. Oh! Is it a highwayman, perhaps? We'll see. Oh! Oh, oh, okay. Well, I've got my own... Little surprises down. Okay. Ooh. Okay, we're back again. Okay. Speak freely, friend. Um, we can't wait in here until healed. Okay. Um, let's rest until healed, and no Dark Brotherhood assassins attacked us. So, okay, so we have to go up the viaduct. Okay. This is amazing, we get a proper view of Red Mountain there in the background. So we're walking, we're almost reaching Ghost Gate uh, through the Fayada. So we'll just... And I'm exhausting myself even by walking, so we just have to be cautious that we're not spending. We should actually be walking, just like this. Oh, Christ above. Okay, he is much more powerful than I am. Hey, what's going on? What is going on? Oi. Luckily, shock spells are... Quite slow here as they are in Oblivion. Um, just want to see what this Wemmer Ruin is called as well. Christ above. Yeah, no, I'm not fighting him. Not anytime soon. Short, intermittent shower there. Oh, I think I can see that. The Wemmer stronghold there in the background. Ugh. Demotivating, isn't it? Simply demotivating. Okay. Oh my god. Christ. No, do not descend upon me. Christ above. Okay. We'll use the terrain to our advantage here. And I'm just gonna drink a Skoomer Potion because I want to get away from that deranged Nord guy. Or he's, maybe he's an Imperial, but that deranged man who's attacking us. Okay. Oh! Grunt. Jesus, we're leveling up, though. <clears throat> we got more cheap. Restore health potions. Oh, God. Okay, lesson one. When next time I'm out here in this environment, just remember. Okay, we're back at it again. There we go. And where is that guy who is attacking us? Not going to be engaging with him anytime soon. Now, where is Molek Amar? Pelagiad? Molek Mar. Perfect. I'm not sure if Molek Mar or Molek Amor is the same place, but I can't remember if it is. And we've got effusive lava flows here, side vents to the main volcano that are emitting lava. Or as they call it in the game. Let's call it in the game lava pools. Oh, you are eager, aren't you? Ooh, do I make you hungry? Okay, I've got no fatigue. Yes, I need to heal after I have won some battle. It's just... Okay, we'll just go and... Hey, pick up. 
they don't have enough magic yet. Um, what do we do? What do we do? Okay, lesson learned. Remember to heal after each combat session. I'm not gonna even look to see if it has loot. Um, and these ones are also really eager to see me. Are we almost there? Fumaroles. Ninja. Nice. Oh no, we can't go that way because that's a, another pool with effusive lava. Fumaroles. Sight vents as well where it cracks fissures in the ground. Gas is seeping off from it. Okay, do you know what we're gonna do it? We must get there. We have learned our lesson. Now, from each fight, we need to heal. This is why we don't heal. <laughs> Anyways, it's a rat. Sometimes it's a cliff racer, but at times it's a rat. And... I am gonna go and jump over to Miranda's, which is this direction. Make that deranged man even more deranged by approaching him, and then we'll jump off. I don't know why, but um, seems like Core is feeling a little bit tedious. He keeps, he is in this funny cycle. It's almost like the movie, I don't know if you've seen it, it's called Next with Nicolas Cage from 2007. It's a little bit like that. You know, every single time he dies, he suddenly wakes up at an early point. Bye 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 bye! And? Or is it? So, how long does it last? Just a sec. I just have to see how long it lasts. 30 seconds. Let's go for it. Oh no, faster, faster things like core, faster things like core, faster things like core. I forgot that it has. So I, yeah, I don't know. I had a different idea of how that worked. Okay. I'm listening. We are getting there. It is just a matter of finding your way through this, uh, this really, really dangerous place. So we've got to be sure that we are hitting so when we jump, we have to be sure that we're hitting Miranda's and it is that direction. And I think, do we have it? Yeah, scroll of Icarian flight. Goodbye. And we're gonna piss off every single cliff racer that's in this country. No, there's one there, okay. Uh, where is... where is you? There we go! Rising Forest Potion. Very good. And we are gonna be stuck here like sitting ducks, but... We have just skipped so... Many cliff racers doing it like this. Come here. I'm not afraid of you. Think you're the only one who can fly? You're not. And finally, the death blow. Ow! <laughs> oh, it seems like you are so sorry. I hope you are not. That was quite a fall. We should probably just have been a, just lowered ourselves a few more meters. Not scams. No, 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 no. Oh, oh. And I kind of forgot that we're meant to. You are fast. You're not going to be doing that, no. I hope they can't swim, because that's our next solution. Oi, Christ above. No, they can't swim. And I hope there are no slot of fish in here. Okay, so we've got Miranda's up there, and um, I really don't like the look of that place, to be fairly honest, because uh, a lot of 
Oh, there's a slaughterfish. There's two slaughterfish. Okay. Back, 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 back to the shore. Oh, thank God. That was close. So, Mirandas is also another place that I can't remember whether its inhabitants are hostile or not. Whoa! And um, so I'm gonna try to recover some magicka with our potions here. And I'm going to do that. So it is that. Um, if we had a skooma potion, we'd probably go a little bit faster. No, 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 not, not like that. Okay. Alpha! You are annoying. Oh my god! And it's no reward. By the gods, Morrowind is stingy. Christ above. Okay. Again. Okay, fight, rest, fight, rest. I have to get used to it. I'm so sorry that that is a cycle that I have a hard time getting used to. But I'm doing my best here. It's very stressful to be fairly honest. Now it's getting even more stressful because this is another cliff razor. Please let the inhabitants of this place be nice and cuddly. I just... Very good. Okay. Until healed. Ah, there they are. A nice pair of stairs. Okay. I suppose you're looking for a tavern. I'm sure I can't help you. <laughs> right. I'm Tevin, barbarian and lawman of Great House Redoran. Okay, so let's imagine this is a Redoran uh, stronghold. Cool. Latest rumors. Uh, we've already had that one about the abolitionists. Oh, that's another thing also we have to get into. Um... Obviously, the Telvani are hostile to anything that has something to do with um, abolition of the slave trade in Morrowind. And um, anyways, we'll get to it. If you're heading into the back country, to the back country, always carry a couple of restore health, restore fatigue, cure disease and cure blight potions on with you. We need to do that. Definitely. Next time we get into we meet a trader, we need to stock up on a few things. Little secret, talk to everyone, talk is cheap, ask questions. You don't ask, you never learn, that is true. We've already had that one also. Okay, let's go for it. Marando's lower level. You will no, 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 no. So he's like, is like immediately faced with the hostility of this stronghold. Like, why is this guy so friendly and the others are murderous and evil? Whoa! Oh god. Interesting. I can't remember. Propylon chamber. Just gonna try and go in here and see if that has an effect. You do not have the index for this propylon. God, I cannot remember what these were used for. Telesera propylon. You do not have the index for this propylon. And what's that up there? Is that Ethereum? Or. Wow. Gorgeous. I love the sound of it. Can't really. This table with a bowl inside. I'm not gonna pick that up. Gorgeous. Okay. So we have to continue our north. I do not remember Punabi at all. No. So okay. So we have to head north. Uh, it seems like there is a path down there. And uh, sure, we can handle another scam. We're not crossing the waters as well. So we probably have to attack the last camp. We can do that. We've got crab meat, which sounds delicious. We 
can't rest because there are enemies nearby. So we have a scamp here. Oh, you've got some reach with those blows. Okay, perfect. So, okay, I have to remember we have undead spells on our, uh, what do you call it, um, anti-turn undead incantations on us, just in case that we need that. You failed the this. Ow! Okay, what do we do? <laughs> okay. Thank God we're only here. Um, we've got Mara's gift. Okay. I will use Mara's gift next time we get into a similar situation. I do not know what. There's a lot of things I have to get used to here. So, apologies for overlooking Mara's gift. Um, do we have enough? I'm just gonna heal a little bit more again. And until healed. I have ascended to level two. Perfect. You have... Okay. <clears throat> you realize that all your life you've been coasting along as if you were in a dream. Suddenly facing the trials of the last few days, you have come alive. I think I like that. Yeah. I think I like that. That six like core is... Oh, you have to uh, first uh, allocate some points. Okay. We want more in our willpower, more in our intelligence. More in our personality, for sure. Do you know what? Just because I know we're gonna have to go and convince... A... Tilvani member of... Okay. You cannot add two. You have to pick three different... Um, agility, definitely. There we go. Okay. Those words resonated a lot with things like core. Okay. We're gonna walk this side of the... Lake. And hopefully we won't be in the water for a very long time. No. Okay, until healed. I love that you can just briefly, this land here, this place here is so hostile. You can just briefly see the greenery out there in the distance. And you're like, no, I want to walk over there. Because it's so hostile and it's so great. It feels so desolate, this area. That it's, you, you really get that feeling of despair and hopelessness there we go okay mm -mm 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 -mm. Molek Mar let's go to Molek Mar then I just have to see if we're going the right way because Punabi okay to get to Punabi go past the Dwemer ruin follow the winding trail east until you reach a lake you'll see Miranda's on your cell phone market head north from Miranda's on the path between the hills <laughs> All paths are between hills here. Punabi will be on your right and Solibon further up the path than the left. Just follow the signs to Molekmar. I've just been playing Starfield and everything is guided. You don't even need to look into your journal. You just be like, oh, there's a quest. I just have to follow it. And here you have to read the words. And it may sound like I was being critical of the way that... Punabi will be on your right, so the, the way the directions are given, head through the, you know, on the path between the hills. It's like all paths here are between hills and foyers. But um, that's how people in real life give directions, probably even worse, or more than often worse than that. Since that core, I need you to have your hands up for combat. Stress. Oh no, this rat requires reflows. That is incredible. Okay, Mara's gift now. If I can make it. No, because Christ above. Anyways, we're back here. No, not this way. Even though it's because I want to go out to the greenery. Mm. Go up here, because I remember that's the path that we have to go to. And now I just don't remember. I don't think we have to go. Though it did say Punabi is. Ugh. I think. Oh, until healed. I think this is the path. Okay. No, that's an elite. Elite up there. Can you see that thing that is just a mouth with legs? 
Oh, I am not going over there. This way we're not passing it, luckily so. And now this is becoming even more contentious because we're more dangerous and more confusing. Just have to make sure there's nothing behind me to push me into the lava. Seems like Kor is taken aback by all of it here for a moment. He's just, he's exhausted. So he rests here by the lava pool. Just for a moment. Just enjoying the rumbling ambience of the flowing rocks. Thinking to himself, I'd love to be back in Anvil at this point. Just, instead of having to struggle to go here and create create a new reputation make people happy do tasks for them starting all over again he's already fought his way through this Cyrodiilian society now he has to do the same here it's a bit exhausting and we've gotten far walked maybe a bit too far but sure that's Morrowind if you're if you don't get lost uh, you're not doing it right oh what's this fire fern okay and if not let's you can I rest yes we have definitely walked too far I think because I think we are far, we are far away from Mirandus, and it looked like the, then walk the bridge, Punabi, you see Mirandus, so mark this stronghold in your map, Hip north from Mirandus, which we did, didn't we? Yes, we walked north from Mirandus. But now we are walking far south east of Mirandus. Okay, so I feel like when we were at... Okay, we're gonna start from here again. And go at it. So, we have to cross the lake. And go up that path that we can see up there. And I think as soon as we see two paths that are on the right and to the left, that's where we have to go and yeah go up those okay we are going to have a great time doing that and I can already see a Kwama forager over there oh perfect I just require one I don't need to until healed oh blight storm no this is the first time things like Kors encountered any of these and he's not really sure how to go about with it. Um, Kwama Forager. Okay, I'm just going to heal it. Um, Vandis? That's not it. Guys, we have to go up the hill here. Oh no! I think there's an animation. Yeah, there's a nice little animation for... I like this. Now things of course thinking about the corpus uh, disease that he had. Someone told him about and he's a little bit... Uh, he's a little bit scared that he'll be getting something from walking around this environment because it is dangerous. One moment it's 70 meters above you. The next moment it is right behind you. You should rest and meditate. Okay. Oh, okay. Luckily, that cliff racer is stuck there behind those we those rocks. So, let's see. Please let us get to our final destination. I don't even think we are near where we're supposed to be. And I should have healed. I should have healed. I should have healed. Okay, I'm just going to use Mara's gift. Perfect. Come on, bring out the sword. Yeah. 
No, you cannot rest while enemies are nearby. Who is nearby? Okay, I'm gonna keep tapping this until we are... Just gonna stand for a moment then. And let fatigue heal me up. Maybe hide behind this rock just to pretend that I'm seeking shelter from this ghastly storm. No, 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 no. What a hostile place. Ooh, ooh. Dust particles. Who knows what else is being carried in these winds? It's the wind speeds of maybe even. What could this look like? 20 meters per second? Christ. No, I am not going to play with that elite. I am not, no. I don't think we want, went the right way. And as you can notice, you're actually walking slower when you're walking against the wind, uh, which is quite cool. But, um... What? Already? No way! So that's you who was lurking about. I hope this is the one that was... No, no, still can't wait. Okay. We are doomed! Please, no. That's that cliff racer. That's the one. It is stuck between those pillars, so it cannot attack us, and simultaneously it is, yeah, making sure we can't rest. Okay, I'm just gonna roll past it, come on. Because at this point I'd rather actually just have it, if we go from behind it might free itself up and then we can teach it a lesson. Come on, come on, I'm right here. No. <clears throat> I think what happened is that it was further up and then it descended in between the two geometries and now its bounding box is stuck between those. And uh, unless it moves up, it's not going to be able to to go down, uh, to descend any further. And we're quite far... Oh, there it is. Okay. We've got no fatigue, so I'm just going to quickly... That was not a lot of fatigue we got. Okay, anyways, doesn't matter. One more blow, seems like core. Oh, okay. Yes! Whew! Okay. Whew, okay, so we have personality that we need to go and put some stuff on. Okay, sorry, I was just so taken aback by this. No strength, agility. There we go. Exhaustion. Okay. Complete and utter exhaustion. So I just need some water because I mean not things like core. I say yeah, things like core needs water at this point also, but um I don't think you did that exists in a pure water to drink. But people don't get dehydrated in this game as they do in real life. I think there is where's that elite? Okay, let's just take this. The speed at which they can approach you at, it's really is just incredible. And again, sometimes you just You succeed in like Obviously our fatigue was low earlier, so that meant that we had to swing more times to get any results, but... Okay, so we are making the same mistake as last time. Apparently there's a place where we could turn to our left or right. But what I'm gonna do is go to the top of this hill and see if we can't get an overview of where we're supposed to go. And this is why... So many people feel like Morrowind is a huge place because it feels huge when you are just traversing it in this way. It takes hours sometimes getting to certain places, despite the fact that the map is smaller than Oblivion and Skyrim. Good. Okay. Um, so we have Miranda's there. We are northeast of Miranda's. And there's no other sign of any other... K 
cave or settlement. We've got lava ponds, we've got... Maybe that's the road through the hills that we have to go through. We'll go th over there and see if that's the one. And uh, hopefully not slide into the lava lake. That's one thing, so I'm just gonna quick save just in case we do. Because that looks like somewhere where you could slide and I don't remember what the physics in this game are like. Nope, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Oi! There you are. I'm just gonna kill you before we get to the rat and that. I think the cliff races are going to define the title of this episode because there have been so many. Okay, we can't cross there because there's a lava lake. We'll have to go. So there's another path here through the hills which might be the one that we're supposed to go through. Who knows? Punabi. I think that sounds familiar. It might be a... Um, oh, it's just a scrape. Um, just checking. You see how paranoid you get about just walking about, looking at the skies? Mm -mm 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 -mm. There's something over there that looks like... Not necessarily a, it looks like a wizard's tower of some sort. Right, we're gonna get attacked there by both of those, so I am just gonna go straight in. Sulipund, yes! <sighs> just catch your breath for a moment here. Just catch your breath for a moment here. And just reflect on what we've learned. I just... Seems like we're tired. Oi! Where's our hat? Did it blow off in the wind? No. It is. The object is broken and cannot be equipped until fixed. Do you know what? No matter. We don't want to walk around with torn clothing, so we'll just take it off. Um. That is sad, though. Okay, I do not know if people are hostile in here. So, and we don't need to heal. Well, that let's... guy asks way too many questions. Oh, thank God. Non-hostile or organism. Maliel brawls. Excuse me, I don't talk to people I don't like. Okay, great. You're not exactly charming your way into my graces, friend. Wow. I... Ooh. Oh. Okay, just rest until healed. That was painful. And she's gone now. Which is a bit freaky, to be fairly honest. Okay. Let's go. Oh! I don't like you much, stranger. Okay, I can see that. Excuse me, I don't talk to people I don't like. Cunel. Sarah Cunel. And Brethroff. Excuse me, I don't talk to people I don't like. Wow. This is like being back in Copenhagen. Incredible. Lara Berloth. There he is. Find someone else to bother. Sorry. Excuse me, don't talk to people I don't like. Oh, that is going to be an issue. Ah, we have to raise his disposition some way or not. Is there not? Okay, how can we do that? Do we have anything that can make him like us? Fortify intelligence. I think... Because you could use a charm spell and then obviously raise his disposition towards you, but that requires us to go back all the way to a settlement and things like Kor just wants to stay here and read, which we do not have time for, but... Ooh, can we... Is anyone looking? Is anyone looking? Yeah, no, no, they're not looking. Just gonna quick save here. Okay. Can we just take books without them reacting to it? Brother of Darkness. The Brothers of Darkness. Oh, oh, okay. Well, they're not attacking, so that's all good. 
Now where did I put that? Neo. Lara, I still don't like you and I still don't want to talk to you. Join us. Do I look like a fool? Collect your dues from someone else or at least give me a reason to listen to your drivel. At least we're not being put away by him. So let's try and do some persuasion. Admire. I think you mean it. Admire. Oh, what pretty words are adventurer and how artlessly self-serving. That's funny. I haven't heard. I haven't heard that one. Okay, let's try and ask him now. Do I look like a fool? He still hates us. Admire. You noticed? Yes, things like quartz. True. Join us. Do I look like a fool? He still hates us. Admire. Ooh, I know things like core. I think so too. But it's good of you to say so. Join us. Do I look like a fool? He still hates us. Let's go a bit more. Yes, it truly is. <laughs> He's starting to sound like an oblivion character, and if oh, if I agree to join, will you leave me to my research? Fine then. I will join them next I'll join the Major's Guild next time I'm in Belmora. Yes, Lara Berlov. We are just gonna give him so a So good to see you. So good to see you too. Thank you for not being as hostile as your fellow people in here. We just gave him a brief hug there. Um, we made good friends after having a an enlightening and encouraging conversation with him. We don't care what you can now think of us, but maybe we can try to see if you can like us also. I think you mean it. Really? I was thinking the same thing. Thank you, things like whore. Very much. I prefer not to. Okay, now she doesn't like us. Let's try again. Okay, now she's starting to hate us again. Doesn't matter. We have successfully persuaded Larar um, to join um, as having been a Teavani member and this is just as things like War wanted to do it. He knows that he is capable of violence at this point because he has been tested by this land but he would much rather prefer diplomatic solutions to, to, these, to these country problems. Which does give him a little bit of, you can say, confidence that he could potentially join the Tilvani and mend things from a um, from a diplomatic perspective, or from one of speechcraft rather than violence and corruption. But um, it is of course naive. But when it comes to cliff racers, there are no diplomatic solutions, because that is all violence. And another one, one after another, it's like a conveyor belt of clip races. Bring it on, which you did, so I don't need to say that. Can't rest here while enemies are nearby. Which enemies are we talking about? Is it the Qualama Forager? Yes, it is. Okay, fantastic. Right, so we have found Silicon and we managed to persuade uh, Larar to join the Mages Guild and we are looking forward to reporting our success to Ronis Athras in Balmora but first we do have one other task because we were sent on to do two things Punabi's on the trail that leads northeast from the lake so Pulabi will be on your right and Solubun will be up the path on the left okay so this, I guess, is the uh, fork, the road forking. The fork of the road that those directions refer to. It's been a long journey getting here. And see something here that is nice. Okay, I'm just gonna, because I don't know, these could also be hostile. Yeah, they are hostile, okay. I will let the ancestral ghost deal with this, or... Christ, he's got a lot of health. Did we fail at casting the... No! A cliff racer and these Dunmer hostile Ashlanders. No, no, no. No, 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 no. I will not do that. I need help. Mara, help me. Okay. Ah. Um, sure we can finish it, can we not? 
to beat me. Not yet. But oh, we've almost got him. Oh my god! Oh, that is so crazy! <laughs> Yeah, it is, it is approaching and it is here. Okay. Oh! <laughs> it's like a residual, um, what do you call it? Residual blow from another life. Okay, come on, help me. He has some speed to that weapon. Okay. Oh, thank God. Okay, the Cliff Racer is attacking the other Danma guy. The other Ashlander. So... We only have to lo hopefully defeat one of them. Oh, the chaos in the background. I don't have to deal with them. Come on. Come on. Come on, last blow. Yes, okay. Oh my god, two cliff racers. This world has no chill. One more time. The ancestral ghost is a good idea. What is that? Is that. And that cliff racers from. Ro no. No. Hi. <laughs> This is mental. Okay. Um, we're gonna walk a bit further away. Okay, we got one clip razor, and I think. Okay, sorry. I just didn't realize that this didn't have. We're almost there. We're almost there. We'll die. Hopefully not. Oh! I got hit by the arrow there. Okay, no, 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 no. Con, con. Okay. This is a bit of a deep breath. Ow. I am baffled by the fact that. Ow. Okay, I'm just gonna hide behind this rock while we just do this. Okay, okay, we've got something that could help us. Okay, we've got this. Just gonna briefly. No, 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 but I just. Oh, you have to select the spell from it also here. Okay. Cool. We've got that and. We've got Restore Fatigue, Amulet of... Ow! Okay. There we go. Come down from that rock. Come. Ow! A lot happened since then in Oblivion. Oh, I do not like how he... Okay, I am gonna... Yes, finally! No, we can't use that. Okay, can we at least... No, we can't. Okay, can we... Oh, and it's got a Nyx Hound there, so I'm just gonna check if he has something useful in this chest. No, he's just got some gold. Okay! Can we eat a leaf or something like that? Just to... No, weak leaf has no effect on you. Okay, lovely. Um... Kiting club, does that work? Spark sword. Mm, we need to repair all this stuff. Oh yeah, this is when games had that. When Bethesda's games ha had um, wearing conditions of of um, equipment. Okay. We could also just run away, but no. Okay, this is. Death in bout. Do you know what? We are already dead. I know we are, but we're gonna fight to the death regardless of it. Next time I do this battle, I want my ancestral ghost to actually appear. And I'm yeah. just gonna die. A very, very, very slow and agonizing death. And like Nicolas Cage in the 2007 movie Next, we're going to wake up miraculously again. Ooh, okay. Ancestral Ghost, you fail the casting spell, so that's what happens. Okay, help me out with this. That Cliff Razor came down in two seconds from 
an altitude of a hundred meters. That is incredible. That is honestly incredible. At least I can just... No, I can't. Mara, help me. And... Could you... <laughs> restore Magicka with a Restore Magicka spell? No. Uh, I have... The Amulet of... Stamina? Just gonna use that for a moment. Oomph. Something's happening over there. Is that maybe still an ancestral good? No, it's the Cliff Razor and that guy. We've still got one more Cliff Razor that could potentially attack us, plus that guy who is very fast, an excellent marksman, and just overall a quite enthusiastic to kill me. We could potentially just run up the hills, and he is faster than us, though. He is quite fast. And he's, I hate that he's just, come on, step into melee. We've got him caught here. Okay, keep firing. Oh yes, this is perfect. Because he thinks he's actually able to hit us at this... And they were clever as I can see the shadow of it. And that's fine because we've just dealt with your with this guy. Okay, perfect. For a moment I thought there were two cliff racers again. Okay, can we rest? Yes, we can. We can. We can rest. Oh. Titan. Do you know what? Just take all of it. Just, just take a breath here for a moment and just sit by the fire a bit. Just chill. I wonder how the hell we got to this place. If we're even on the way to Punabi or not, we don't even know, we're not sure. We just know that we are somewhere. Okay, just to reflect on what we've encountered so far. What a place. What a world and... Okay, just breathe in and out. Before we proceed onwards. Okay. I think at this point, things like Horus understood that he's some ungodly power, the ability to uh, cheat death, to simply just, whenever he dies, he reappears moments previously, just a few minutes or hours before being dealt the death blow. So it's obviously some strange phenomenon that's occurring. It's like he's been blessed by fate or the gods themselves. And that they want him to proceed onwards in this world. It seems like Kor is a bit tired. I'm tired of walking these desolate lands. But um, he's getting there. He's getting stronger, he's getting faster, he's getting more agile. But that doesn't mean that he likes walking in blight storms. To his detriment, this is just another dead end. With cliff racers. These strange primordial plants. Okay. We know this isn't a. Whoa! And there are two of them again. Okay. Okay. Whew. Right. We're back again. Oh, we didn't loot this. Oh, this guy. Dispose of corpse. There we go. And again, he ba he he bada la pal, la pal. Okay. I'm just gonna make sure I don't get over encumbered, so I don't wanna just take everything he's carrying. Uh, we're just... Okay, 
I prefer his club more than anything else. Let's drop the ceramics bowl and is there anything else? A jug, yeah, we don't need to carry a jug around. Um, nope, we've already looted that fire fern. Okay. Oh yeah, Christ. a bit more quiet now okay so am I missing something Punabi will be on your right Solipun will be further up in the path on the left we have gone up the left here and this is Solipun will be further up the path on the left Sulipund is here. So the question is, Morrowind is not above giving wrong directions. Like, it does happen. What we will have to do is, we'll just walk around. Not walk around aimlessly, but I will try to see, because the path forks up here. And um, we'll go to the left, despite the fact that it says that Punabi is on the right. We'll go to the left. Oh! Wait a second, now I am really lost. Okay, we'll go this way, regardless of it. You can see there's a lava pond up there. We've been this path here also. We're walking south. This is the path we walked pa past before, where we... Oh, there's a guar. Yeah, we walked up here. I remember, because that lava lake there is quite extensive. Oh! Oh! Not so cute, no! It looks like it could take a really chunky bite off of you with that mouth. And we've got no fatigue because we were running up here this hill. So we've got... Okay, I'm just gonna... A wild guar. Ah, so the wild guars are... Naturally, they're quite protective, perhaps, of... I don't think they're carnivorous, but I would assume that they're quite territorial, maybe, or that it saw me as an aggressor. Let's see here for a moment. What can we throw off and what could we potentially eat? I don't really need to carry around these common shirts as well. Okay. No, there are enemies nearby, so we can't rest them. Do you know I'll go inside um, Sulipund? Oh, now I can. Thank God. Oh no, that is frightening. I hope there are some stats somewhere. I wish there were some stats. I have to check if there is of how many cliff races one has murdered or have uh, defended oneself from. So we went up the left. There's nothing here. There is just, I don't know, more. And we went up here where the road forks. And imagine we spent an entire half this episode, if not more, trying to get this done. I'm almost inclined to just go up the top of a hill, but it really did not help us the last time. In fact, we just met more cliff racers. Let's do it again. Punabi, there is Miranda's over there in the distance. And we've just gone up the hills here, so... rest uh, just gather my stamina a bit and it went for it immediately stung me like a bee I love to know how they rest like how they sit because I remember I did one for one of the videos and I actually modeled it in 3d and then uh, textured it shaded it sculpted it and I was like wondering where do I give it legs or arms or how does it really like how does it rest and it, it, it doesn't, it doesn't rest. If this Kwame Forager manages to take all our life, which it didn't, perfect, great. Okay, morning, ah, lovely. Sleeping out here on bare volcanic rock. How quaint. If you think this took a long time to find, you have not seen so, oh, just play naturalist here. See, they do eat grass. Or maybe it's 
mosses that it is gnawing on. And now it's gonna come and gnaw at us as well. Oh no! No, 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 no! Not Aguar and Cliff Racers. There we go. Okay, we can do this. And three Cliff Racers potentially. Like I said, it's a conveyor belt of them. Five is not unheard of. Just gonna quickly heal. There's some funny areas in Morrowind. There's also one up by the Gracelands up north where there is... I don't know if it's a bug or if it's something the developers thought was funny, but a place with giant rats. And I don't remember if they're giant cliff races as well, but everything that spawns in that area is twice the size or three times the size. This is... Okay. There we go. Poor Guar. I must admit, I'm not too happy about killing them because I do think they're cute. Which more went? Oh wow, another one! And it was 15 when I played this game. And just see how we are relative to everything. We are far away from Arandis. And there are two Kaguchi over there, which I, who I will not be engaging with. Okay, it's morning again. Okay, perfect. Yes, okay, agility. And I'm just looking, endurance will probably be the next thing that we're gonna go for. I don't want to prioritize strength, so let's go for this. Personality is really good to just level up on because there's there are going to be many opportunities for trying to persuade certain people. Yeah, it'll save us a lot of trouble. Let's try to scale this hill. I don't have horses in this game, so wow! Did you see the speed again? It perfect. Not perfect, but better. There is the next one. Perfect, and we have level up our destruction, which is great. This is probably going to be a three, four days trip, which of course is not like unrealistic to consider in real life. And we're learning a lot. We're leveling up. We're becoming better fighters. We are in many ways um, benefiting from doing all of this. But at the same time, I would also like to be, things like Core would also like to be in a cozy warm bed. Not having to deal with the dust and the blood, tissue, sweat, tears. Okay, okay let's go for it. Ah, oh, lovely. Oh, this is beautiful. I like this. Nice lighting. Okay, no, one, two, three, four, five, six. Potentially a fight with six cliff razors. Do you want to do that? No, we don't. And I'm not too good with marksmanship, but you know what? Let's give it a go. Let's try and see if we can. We need to try every a lot of things today, so. Yeah, no, we can't hit anything. Okay. Mm. Come down. I don't think it understands that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we've just been surrounded by seven cliff racers in this valley alone. And if I had just walked through it all, I would have had seven cliff racers on my back. Okay. Until healed. Perfectly. Great. What the? This is in one, two, three, four, five, six, six. There's still six. In this place. Okay. Approach with caution. Either let one of them come over to me, deal with it. Um, because if we, we're going to one, two, I just saw one more behind that hill. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Yeah, that is it. Come on, attack me. And the next one over there is probably also gonna see me and ow. Next one, next one, next one, next one. Okay, we're just going to 
as they say in like I hate that term but it's like we're just gonna aggro one of the other ones um, okay okay just gonna no we can't rest anymore it is done okay there it is there it is and just be the only one come on of course it's gonna take its time they're like orcas they like playing with their prey as well I'd imagine Perfect. About f time. Perfect. We're just clearing the path slowly but surely. Not rushing into it. I think that one is caught between those trees as well, so we can pass without too much disruption. Um... Just take it in here in the canyon. Yeah. It knows it could be. It knows that it could be doing the job faster. Um. Oi! So. There we go. Okay. Oh, I'm over encumbered from what? Because of a spoon? Maybe. There we go. Okay, I'm just gonna check if this is Punabi. Yeah, Seren Ancestral Tomb. That is a familiar ma name. Maybe it has some significance in the quest or something, but... Beautiful, beautiful sky and lighting. Um, I wish we could rest, but we can't. So let's go in here and see if we can't rest in here as well. Oh, scamps, no. Okay, okay we can't rest out here as well. The incessant attacks of cliff racers here in this area and I just also okay we're back here on the path from Miranda's because I need to backtrack I don't think we went up this path and I'm just gonna go up I think that is, that is it. no this is Punabi of this is the settlement the witch is set so is that okay if I just gonna go to that is that is Tulipun <laughs> Punabi is here <laughs> this little door into a rock okay great I just mesmerized by that I really am okay that is funny Oh, I hope they're not hostile in here because I really can't deal with anything else. Okay, just gonna walk with my. There's someone watching. Manway, oh, fantastic. What do you want? Okay, Gildus. I left the Mages. What do you want? I left the Mages Guild and dedicated my life to studying the adaptive responses of quaternary variations in Oblivion's streams. If Ranis Atheris wants the Guild dues that much, why don't you just pay them yourself? I'm unconcerned with such petty financial matters. Okay, let's try to go and persuade her a bit because we've already been good at that. My, I'm busy that day, sorry. Thank you, Sings Like Core, very much. Okay, let's try and do that. I'm not buying that one. Let's try it. Let's see. Okay, let's just see. My way is just I pay the gold myself, but I don't want to. So let's go and just try to. You're not so bad yourself. Will you leave me alone if I give you the 2,000 septums? I cannot leave my research unattended. Yes, I will. Here, take the gold and leave me to my work. I would advise that you leave me here now. Great, what so do you want? that was quite no a fire at your neck. Doesn't look like it's hostile. Just want to see around here because that's a nice place. What was I thinking? I don't know. Oh, I have you. Okay, she's hostile. She's Chris. I think yeah, she is hostile. Okay. Run, 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 run. What do you want, Outland? To get out of here, ASAP. Okay. Great. Finally, so all we need to do is get on top of some hill and 
Get home. Ah, <sighs> so where's Belmora from here on? Okay, so Belmora is exactly the same way. We're just gonna go up on top of a hill and fire off the um, uh, jumping spell. What do you call it? And we don't have any more I care in. Oh yeah, of course we used. We yeah okay. We can actually. I think we can make the last jump. Oh, okay. There we go. Okay, perfect. I needed to be back among some greenery as well. Oh my god. I will just report a success to Ronis and we'll continue this another day. It's been a bit more adventurous. I think the last episode we talked a lot to people. We were out engaging with a lot of different NPCs learning about the land and Pelagia, Balmora. And this time we have been out on an adventure, but we've learned a lot. We've leveled up. Have you convinced Lachra Bereloth to join us? I have. Good work, seems like Kor. Maybe he'll give us some info on the Tilvani. Oh, I suppose I should find something to give for your efforts. Here, take these spare potions. And did you get Manwe's guild dues? Yes. Do you have the 2,000 septums that Manwe owes? Yes, I do. Good work, seems like Kor. You're the first evoker to get Manwe to pay her dues. I knew I could rely on you. Perfect, okay. Let's see if we have any advancements. No. The Mage's Guild appreciates the duties you've done, but you simply do not re meet our requirements for Conjurer. Anyways, <clears throat> we have a new quest. An Argonian at the Southwall Corner Club is offering training in restoration without the sanction of the Guild. I want someone to stop this unsanctioned training. This is something we're going to do next time, we don't have time for it now. I have word that an Argonian is offering training in restoration at the Southwall Corner Club. This Argonian, whoever he is, does not have the sanction of the Mage's Guild. Convince him to stop offering unsanctioned training. Okay, great, we'll do that. But let's get some rest first. We've learned a lot and I think it's good that we just give things like Kor some rest. I like the look of these beds down here, so I think Greetings. we're going to just be sleeping here. Not just an hour, but 24 hours. So thank you for following, up, uh, following along. I feel like we are closer to having understood how Morrowind works again. For me, I feel like I've gotten back into the same routines that I had when I was a teenager. It's just like, you know, finding time to play Morrowind, getting to understand the balance of just, you know, resting after each attack. Uh, I was probably back then better at just buying potions, which we'll have to do next time. So first things first, when we go back into the wilderness, we're going to find some potions and also repair our stuff. So thank you so much for tagging along with this adventure. I really appreciate the comments. I really appreciate all the nice words. I also appreciate the tips. Um, I can't, of course, incorporate everything that you're saying, but I will be looking through them and um, I do appreciate them. So thanks.